in this question we are given three terms the first term is 1 plus 10 square theta whole divided by 1 plus cot square theta the second term is whole square of the fraction 1 minus 10 theta upon 1 minus cot theta and the third term is 10 square theta and we are to prove that all these terms are equal so let us consider 1 plus 10 square theta upon 1 plus cot square theta it is very simple just by using identities we know that 1 plus 10 square theta is nothing but sec square theta and 1 plus cot square theta is cosec square theta okay further we know that sec square theta is 1 upon cos square theta why because sec theta and cos theta are reciprocal of each other so sec square theta is equal to 1 upon cos square theta similarly as we know that cosec theta and sin theta are reciprocal of each other so cosec square theta can be written as 1 upon sin square theta okay so it will be like numerator as it is 1 upon cos square theta and the numerator will be multiplied with the reciprocal of denominator it is sin square theta upon 1 it is sin square theta upon cos square theta which is 10 square theta okay so we have proved that 1 plus 10 square theta upon 1 plus cot square theta is equal to 10 square theta the third term now consider the second term the second term is 1 minus 10 theta upon 1 minus cot theta whole square so we know that 10 theta and cot theta are reciprocal of each other so I can write cot theta as 1 upon 10 theta so it is like 1 minus 10 theta whole divided by 1 minus 1 upon 10 theta whole square you can simplify it as see numerator is as it is 1 minus 10 theta and the denominator will be like 10 theta minus 1 upon 10 theta so this is the main division line the numerator is 1 minus 10 theta and denominator is 10 theta minus 1 upon 10 theta whole square here numerator will remain as it is it is 1 minus 10 theta or you can write it as 1 minus 10 theta upon 1 the numerator will be multiplied with the reciprocal of denominator that is 10 theta upon 10 theta minus 1 okay and then whole square see 1 minus 10 theta and 10 theta minus 1 these two terms are negative of each other so I can I can write it as 1 minus 10 theta multiplied by 10 theta whole divided by minus of 1 minus 10 theta since 10 theta minus 1 is minus of 1 minus 10 theta and then whole square so these two terms can be cancelled inside the bracket you will have only minus 10 theta okay so minus 10 theta square is nothing but 10 square theta as we know that minus x whole square is x square so once again we see that the middle term 1 minus 10 theta upon 1 minus cot theta whole square is equal to 10 square theta it is also equal to third term so we see that all three terms are equal